is one more question here okay where it involves calculating the area of the shaded region so for you to calculate that okay first thing that i did was to calculate the area of the triangle which is 5 times 15 times half you get 37.5 so the next step for you to do is to identify the angle of AOB or you want to call it AOC it's also the same thing okay so for me to calculate that I have the opposite and adjacent so I will be using tangent over here then I get it as 71.6 degree so for specific sector calculation You'll be using 71.6 divided by 360 times 5 squared times pi then you get 15.6 okay and for you to calculate the shaded region just take the difference of this then you will get 21.9 so a few other terms that you need to know is chord diameter radius and tangent okay so chord is where you just cut this circle okay without passing through the center of the circle then it will be considered as chord so if you cut through the center of the circle then it is considered as diameter okay and diameter is actually made up of two radius okay as for tangent okay tangent is where from the radius form a line at outside of the circle and it will result in 90 degree so for circle theorem itself i mainly break it into four part so for the first one it is actually the angle at the center is actually twice the value of angle at the circumference the common thing is where this angle of the circle itself will involve the center of the circle so let's say we have AOC and ABC AC is repeating the only difference between these two will be one involving the center one doesn't okay for this one okay the ABC will actually be half of AOC which is 65 so AOB and ACB okay it's actually ACB will be half of AOB which is 50 so the other way is when it involves reverse calculation okay so if let's say they give you the circle at the top right corner they gave you 160 okay then immediately you will know that the remaining the, from the major sector is actually 200 Okay, which led to ABC is the exterior angle of it. So 200 divided by 2, you will get 100. Theorem number 2. Any angle from the diameter or semicircle will form a right angle. Okay, so AC is a diameter. Hence, ABC is a 90 degree. So, attach is some other example in different shape and form. Whereby for theorem number 3, okay, this is the concept of cyclic quadrilateral. So, what the cyclic quadrilateral means is that where opposite angle of a quadrilateral that is inside a circle add up it will form 180 degree okay so I attach two examples over there so ADB plus ACB it will be equal to 180 hence Y will be 110 whereby for the next circle over there there's actually two quadrilateral so for me to identify the first answer, I will actually focus on FEBC where 70 plus Y equals to 180, Y is actually 110. Okay, so 110 plus X plus 30 will be 180. So after I shift off the excess variable, so I will get my excess 40.
We have for theorem number 4. The full term of this is angle from the same arc in the same segment are equal. So for example, ADC equals to ABC. It is somewhat similar to the first theorem we have learned earlier. However, okay, this one doesn't involve the center of circle. Okay, so their starting point and ending point will be the same. Okay, the center value will be different alphabet but same degree.